Hey Sugar Geeks, Liz here. Today we're gonna learn how to make browned butter. I use brown butter in my buttercream, in my cakes, in my cookies, pretty much on all the things. And it's super easy, I'm gonna show you how next on the Sugar Geek Show. Browning butter, couple of things to know. It's a super simple technique, anybody can do it. Brown butter has like a super intense, like nutty flavor that it just like adds. Just try it, trust me. When we are browning butter, we want to have a like a metal pan that's kind of like wide. Even if you're browning a small amount of butter, you can use like a saucepan or like a skillet, but you wanna be able to see the bottom of the pan because the solids in the butter is what's turning brown. So if you have two inches of butter, you cannot see the bottom of the pan and then you'll burn it. I'm only browning about eight ounces of butter. Uh, you can definitely brown more, especially if you're making my brown butter buttercream recipe, which you should be. So uh, that's basically it. Pan, butter, whisk, heat source. Let's get to browning. All right, so we're gonna turn our, we're gonna turn our heat on. Put the butter, put the butter in the bowl and you stir it all about. Everything tastes better if you dance, don't you know that? <laughs> so we're browning this over medium heat. So it's gonna be bubbling and steaming and foaming, and that's because butter has liquid in it, and that is totally normal. So the steam is just the water and the butter evaporating, and if you have this in a deep saucepan, it actually makes it really hard to see the bottom of the pan. So you're just making sure you're agitating those dairy solids so that they're browning evenly. So this is gonna take a few minutes to brown. You just wanna keep whisking. Things that you can do while you're browning butter. Pay your taxes. Stalk people on Instagram. Oh, <gasps> she said what? Stay caffeinated. Think of all of the ways that you can use brown butter. Okay, so it's bubbling, but I can see that it's starting to turn brown. So I just turn it off the heat for a second. So I can kind of put the like little foam off to the side. So you see we have kind of like a little golden color. This is not brown. This is just golden. This is where people I think stop because they're scared of burning it. It's not quite there. We want to go for another couple of minutes. So it's been about five minutes so far. getting there. Things are starting to brown. Just a little bit further. I can actually smell it now. I can I can actually smell like that nutty flavor. So that's definitely a sign that we're getting very, very close. A thing to note as well is that a lot of the water has evaporated out of the butter. So this is going to weigh less than eight ounces. So if you need eight ounces of brown butter for a recipe, you're gonna need to brown like 10. So now I'm gonna pour my Finish brown butter. Make sure you get all of those little granules out. That's where all the flavor is. Smells like deliciousness. Mm. And that's how you brown butter. See, I told you it was easy. This brown butter is going into some brown butter buttercream. Say that three times fast. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.